If you guys have been following my channel, you know I have been hyping up Santi Aldama since before he was drafted. He went to the University of Loyola in Maryland, literally 15 minutes away from me. I knew so many people who go to the University of Loyola who were telling me about him, so I looked into him, told before the draft happened that he was going to be the biggest steal of the draft. This man told everyone, if you don't take me in the first round, I'm just going to go play in Spain because my dad is an Olympic athlete. So is my uncle. They both played professionally in Spain. This guy comes from a lineage. And I know it's, I don't want to fully compare him to Paul Gasol. Like uh, there's actually some comparisons to LaMarcus Aldridge offensively. And I really, really, really okay love santi aldama look the floor looked so much more space there was three point shooting like i can't wait till it's santi aldama and jaron jackson jr in the future but santi aldama and steven adams out there santi was shoot you know he behind john conchar and desmond bain he he shot the second most threes i mean third most threes tied with uh, tyus jones and he had 18 points and he honestly in my opinion was the best starter out there i know john moran dropped 34 but he had six turnovers over there no turnovers from santi aldama very efficient basketball grab rebounds including offensive rebounds block shots was getting into passing lanes that and he only had one steal but it felt like he had his hands on a lot more balls okay shot 50 percent from the field shot almost you know I think he shot like 40% from three, 18 points. Santi Aldama is going to be a staple in the starting lineup. I love what Steven Evans did tonight. He didn't really score much. He just grabbed his rebounds, dished the ball, played defense. John Morant was cooking with gas. He literally was dishing the ball, scoring on all over the floor, doing John Morant things. You had Tyus Jones being the, the best backup point guard in the league, could be a starter on basically any other team almost. And that was good. That you know, it was interesting to see with John Conchar in the starting lineup due to the fact that they they all do have some injuries right now. The Grizzlies that they're going through with Dylan Brooks out with a thigh injury, Zaire Williams with a knee injury, and then Jerry Jackson Jr. and Danny Green out a little bit more extendedly. So it looked like tonight the primary bench rotation was Ty Tyus Jones as the six man, Brandon Clark, you know, relieving Santi Aldama and Steven Adams when needed, bouncing between those two positions. And then Jake LaRavia, Xavier Tillman, and David Roddy were the guys that came off the bench. And I let David Roddy had a very quiet game, but Tyus Jones, like I said, he came out, you know, grabbed some boards, dished the ball out a little bit, got a steal, had 15 points. Xavier Tillman, he came in, grabbed some boards, had a few blocks, scored a couple buckets, nothing super special. I think Brandon Clark, you know, Brandon Clark had the better version of Xavier Tillman's game, except I think Tillman had a more of a defensive impact. Jake LaRavia, jury's still out on him. He was just spacing the floor, grabbed whatever boards came his way. I think the biggest thing was Desmond Bain. You know, his shot wasn't falling tonight, but he's going to continue to be good. John Conchar, as a guard, grabbed, you know, well, I guess tonight he was playing more small forward, but he had 11 rebounds. I think John, Car John Conchar is one of the most underrated rebounding you know wings in the nba the kid just grabs boards like they're just nothing okay he 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 violates boards and i just for me i'm just gonna keep hammering this drum this is just the start of santi alama okay you guys are gonna be sitting here in a month or two coming back to my channel and being like dude you've been calling the santi alama guy for like the past three months and you weren't like not past three months i mean you've been playing i've been playing that drum harder for the past three months because even the organization's hyping him up now and i knew it was going to get like this okay i knew that this was going to happen and this is just the type of player that he is and you guys are just starting to see it because he's that great of a player and for me i just think it's very fun to to just see the team just having the success that they have and it's a result of you know the the team being solid all around i i don't think there's a complaint from me on the skill of this team and i think it's just the result of them being able to you know have players at every position they're very deeply stocked like i i think that's one of the the most impressive parts about this is how deep this team actually is in reality and yeah, so I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are you guys thinking about this team? Are you guys on the same page with me? Santi Alama is a man, okay? People aren't ready for Santi. And Santi's going to continue to freaking tear up the, you know, in my opinion, the, the NBA till they start to give him notice. Like, I know John Moran had one hell of a game tonight. And I'm not, you know, I'm not dishing anything against him i'm just saying 
Santi Alama is the guy people need to be paying attention to because he had a hell of a game. So that's where I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. What do you guys think of that? And was there anything you wanted to hear from me? But I love you. Goodbye.